The more people that are coming, the more enthused they seem to be and the motivation doesn't stop and just like this appears to keep on going. The people keep coming and staying motivated, staying driven to, to achieve the outcome that they want. I remember watching the news that morning last year, seeing the headlines and my heart just sank uh, because it's a very real situation. I'm, I'm glad to be here at least supporting them and, and help, at least help make a difference. Hi, I'm Flight Lieutenant Charlotte Meller. Um, I'm the training officer at Aldershot, um, involved in the training of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. And I'm Flying Officer Mike Bembo. Uh, I'm a staff officer here in charge of uh, media, so uh, J9 function. Last year, two squadron from the Rough Regiment was involved in the actual training delivery itself. We're part of more the support HQ element uh, based down here at Aldershot, looking after the continuous mission for the training of the Ukrainians. We're from the RAF and we're working with Army. You're really learning on the job, but also feeling like you're supporting something much bigger than just the RAF. I think because we're all working towards the same mission, we're all facing in the same direction and we want the same outcome. So um, despite our differences, um, we all work together really well to get to that outcome. It's something I think about really regularly and I don't think you could ever comprehend what they're going through. And I think the bravery, even in those people that we see at the training camps, I mean, it's admirable that what they're going through and what they may have seen or what they may have been through and then they're here willing to go on for days and days working so hard. I, I, it's something I can't even comprehend to be part of. I remember on the Secretary of State visit, one of the companies had just finished their training series for the day and were making their way back to camp. And obviously we, we were waving to them, saying hello and everything like that. And it, they, they started chanting. It just proves how how motivated these, these individuals are coming over here to receive that training and they want to take on everything that they can now to better help them and better prepare them for when they go back. I think my key takeaway will be just that in some way I contribute to something that is so sad to see happening um, and it's such a rewarding and something you probably can't put into words about how important this is for them, um, that this isn't training for them in the sense of maybe they'll use it one day, they are actually going to use this. Um, and and what can be more important than that.